Well, if you have someone on your list that loves to cook, that loves to eat, that loves to drink, we have some practical ideas. And by we, I mean Paula, Paula Roy, host of Paula Roy's Favorite Foods right here on Rogers TV, season two coming in the new year. We head over to Paula's Kitchen Live. How are you, Paula? Great to see you. I am so great. Great to see you, too. And just for your reference, it's actually season three of my season show. Season three, I am sorry. That is right. Season three coming up in the new year. Um, and we'll talk about that maybe It's a okay. Bit you later. were away for one of the seasons. That is true. We'll jump right into uh, what you've got in store for us uh, because you, you've tested, I, I would imagine, dozens and, dozens and dozens of products over the years. Hundreds. Hundreds. Yeah. So this is the best of the best. Okay. What have you got for us? Where do you want to start? All right, so food waste is something that's really coming up on people's radars because food is getting more expensive. We are trying to cut down on our trips to the grocery store. So having a good food storage system will keep your food fresher longer and prevent food waste. So one of my current favorites is this Willing uh, Fresh and Safe system. And it's these great containers that have a double vacuum seal lid as well as vacuum bags and a rechargeable vacuum pump. And it can keep food fresher up to five times longer than non-vacuum systems. And you can use it in the fridge or the freezer or even at room temperature if that's uh, appropriate for the food. And all on the same line, I really like these Queasy Pro packet bags. They come in four sizes. They're made of heavy grade silicone with a really good zipper seal, so they're leak proof. And you could pack uh, snacks or lunches in them. You could also pack things for the fridge or freezer. And they're heat safe up to 425 degrees, so you can even cook in them. You could boil vegetables in this, for example. Uh, really, really great, and they're wow. dishwasher safe, so super easy to use. I love it. I noticed some cookbooks in front of you there. Uh, always a great gift idea for those that, that love to be in the kitchen, people like myself, and of course, people like you love that. Absolutely. So I looked at a whole lot of new ones, and I really favor Canadian cookbook authors. It's a, an extension of supporting local. So this first pick is called Vegetables, a Love Story by a chef and writer from Saskatoon named Renee Coleman. This is her second book. First one won multiple awards, and it really is a testament to her love of vegetables and the love of the vegetable farmer that won her heart five years ago. Nice. So it's organized uh, by vegetable. Uh, there's about 80 recipes, gorgeous pictures, and it's a great way to help you cook through the seasons. It will really inspire people who want to try uh, going to the farmer's market more. And if they don't know what to do with stuff, this will be their guide. Fantastic. And the book is along the same line. It's called Cook More, Waste Less by Christine Tizard. Originally from Newfoundland, she now makes Toronto her home. She's a food stylist, recipe developer, actress, pretty talented lady. And the idea here is to make good use of what you buy. So there's good strategies for food shopping and food storage. And then lots of what to do with the rest kind of recipes. So for example, she'll say to cook two roast chickens. Obviously you have one just as a roast chicken dinner. And then on the subsequent pages, it tells you other things you can make with the rest of the chicken. Great so idea. a really great book for families that want to make good use of their uh, food budget. Anything that has the word ninja on it um, strikes me as something I need. What have you got there? <laughs> so this is a dual basket air fryer. You can cook up to four pounds of french fries in this baby. Um, I've used quite a lot of different air fryers. This is my favorite by far because of the capacity and also you can cook two different things in the two baskets, different function, different time, different temperature, and you can even coordinate it so everything finishes at the same time. So this Ninja dual air fryer is really great. Uh, and then of course, tools. all this cooking makes me- Yeah, yeah, go cooking ahead. Cooking tools. Yeah. Um, Oh, I was going to say, all the cooking makes me thirsty. So I definitely like to stay fueled. My new fave is Wax & Wayne Coffee, which is a local company, and they source beans from all over the world. A lot of them are fair trade, work with a, a local Ottawa roastery, and then they roast them to order in small batches and ship them out across North America. So the Wax wow, & Wayne website nice. has lots of great gift ideas. And Dunrobin Distillery in Stittsville is known for its spirits. The gin is particularly lovely. They've got a few varieties. They just launched their first liqueur, and it's a premium limoncello. And uh, really, really fantastic product. This would be an excellent gift for a hard-to-buy-for person. Absolutely. Uh, quickly, and I have last... about 40 seconds left. You've got a beautiful pan in front of you there. Tell me about that. This is a Debouille um, Mineral B Carbon Steel Pan. I call it the better than cast iron pan. Naturally nonstick, a dream to work with. It comes in a bunch of sizes with a lifetime warranty. So on my Constantly Cooking website, you can find out more about all these details. And uh, there's other gift guides from other years that the products are still highly recommended. Excellent. Uh, thank you so much. And congratulations on season, season three. I'm sure we'll have you back on the show as we get closer and closer to the premiere of season three of Paula Roy's favorite foods. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time here on Daytime Ottawa.